Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, coming at you with my Rebuilding My Sports Car Collection series. This is episode 2. I came across a whole bunch of cards that I used to own, some cards that I've always wanted to own, and a few that I just saw that were really cool and picked up. And uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but uh, there's the stack. So I'm going to try and fly through this as much as possible. How's everybody's Sunday morning going? Um, first off here, uh, for the Broncos, uh, I'm not necessarily a big fan of John Elway uh, as a person, but obviously he was a really good football player, and uh, of course I'm a big Broncos fan. I just came across this card and thought it looked really cool. Got this John Elway insert or subset kind of card, I guess. Uh, picked up a couple... Newer cards for the Len Dawson PC. Don Russ Legends of the Gridiron. Thought that was cool. And Don Russ. I think that's just the regular, it's part of the regular set. I've always thought he's just kind of an underrated Hall of Fame quarterback. Um, this card I used to have, and this is one of the coolest cards that I thought I had in my collection. Um, not his rookie card, his second year. Or third year, I'm sorry. 1970 tops of Bob Greasy. He's a pretty good TTM signer as well. So I'll pick that up. Got some more stuff for the John Riggins PC. Got his rookie card here. I've never owned that before. So that was really cool to get. 72 tops. Got the 73. 76. He got rid of the afro there. Uh, 79, 1980, got a couple 83s, rushing leaders, record breaker, and top sticker from 83. Also got three more of the 84 tops, got the regular base, instant replay. Team leaders. Got the 85 tops. And uh, that's it for the John Riggins PC. Um, restarting the John Mackey PC. Um, I think I might have shown a few. Um, I picked up a few cards of his. I still need to get his rookie card. That was quite expensive. I don't even know what year this is. 66, I guess. Philadelphia, John Mackey. 67 Philadelphia, that card is absolutely beautiful. Those cards are pretty cool. The yellow border. Um, 1970 Exographs, I don't even know. I kind of like the Sport Flix cards from the 80s. That's pretty cool. Pick that up. Got 71 tops of John Mackey. And 73. And I came across a uh, newer card from Proline that I thought looked kind of cool. It's got a nice background. It's for John Mackey. And then finally, I, I own his autograph in my collection, so this will go in the autograph notebook. John Mackey. Paid about $16, $18. You know, kind of expensive, but uh, it's worth it to me. So that was all the football pickups. The rest of these are going to be baseball. Um, this came in today. Um, of course, uh, I think if he's able to continue to play like he has the past two or three seasons, this guy will definitely be in the Hall of Fame. Colorado Rockies third baseman, Nolan Arenado. And uh, this card just looks really cool. It's Diamond Kings Aurora. Just loved how it looked. I saw somebody get it uh, pulling a break, I think, on YouTube. I can't remember who it was. And I was like, I have to get that card. I um, picked up a few Joe Morgan cards. Um, I used to have this card way back, 68 tops. It actually came in a lot. Uh, I bought a um, a fake um, Mickey Mantle card. It was I only paid like $18 or actually it's 11 something. Um, and there's a whole bunch of Joe Morgan cards. So the Joe Morgan cards and Carl Yastrzemski's were worth it. I never had that one before, but I thought it looked really cool. Um, 1971 tops Joe Morgan. Of course, 71 is a really beautiful set. 
Um, this was the first. This was my oldest card in my collection at one point before I got that 1933 Gaudi um, that my mom bought me a long time ago. Um, but this 1952 or 53 Bowman, 52 Bowman of Mickey Grazzo. Um, that was my first oldest card. I think that card's in better condition than the one I had before. Um, I've always wanted to own a card of this guy, and I finally got one. 1950 Bowman of Johnny Mize. Very underrated baseball player. And then I found this really cool insert of him as well. That I figured I'd throw in the book with him. I used to have this card. Got it for 50 cents one time. 78 Tops and Pete Rose. Well, I don't. I think I paid at least a dollar for that one. And then I'm also restarting the Carl Yastrzemski PC. And I got a ton of stuff for him. Uh, this is 1969 Tops, I think. Sporting News, Carl Yastrzemski. He's just a great hitter. 73. 74. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm knocking over my camera. And my light. Um, 75. Another 75 with uh, Orlando Cepeda. I did not know Cepeda played for the Cardinals. So I saw that card. Uh, 76. A couple 77s. Oh, almost did it again. <laughs> 78. I also got that card for 50 cents at one time at a card shop. Same day, Pete Rose, 79. Couple 80s. There's Lou Brock. Got the 81 tops. And the 81 tops Coca Cola version. Thought that was cool. It was about the same price as the other one. Um, 1981 Fleer. Got a couple of those. And the sticker. 81 Drakes, 82 Fleer, got a couple of those, 2000th game, he played for a long time, I don't know if I'll ever be able to get his rookie card or not, but that'd be really cool if I could, 82 Tops, probably not being in very good condition if I was able to afford it, got the in action, 83 Tops looks like he's doing some in some balls for uh, ground uh, fielding exercises. Uh, 83 tops, um, super veteran. 84 Fleer. Um, I don't think he played 84. I think he retired in 83, but he had a card. And this 84 tops all star. Honorable mention. I thought that was cool. And then I used to own this card a long time ago. This 3000 club from Fleer. That was just really cool looking card. And then I also came across this one. This one's from 2016 Tops 3000 Hits Club. But this card looks really cool. Carl Yastrzemski. And then also, again, for the Elston Howard PC 57 Tops. And 68 Tops with the Red Sox. I believe that's his last card. And then I picked up a couple inserts that just look really cool for later cards Diamond Kings another Diamond Kings and another Diamond Kings so those cards they just really stood out to me so I bought it and then I've always wanted to have a Roberto Clemente card and I finally bought one it's not the one necessarily that I really want but uh, it's a start, so it's what I could afford. This 1972 uh, World Series game number four highlight of Roberto Clemente. So, really great story with that guy. Very sad that we lost him so soon. But uh, it's just an amazing baseball player. And then I just picked up a few commons that just look really cool from 61. They were really cheap. Billy Muffet. 
I wasn't really too big on conditions, as long as they didn't have like writing or big crease on them or something. Jack Meyer, Leo Posada, Jorge Posada's uncle, his rookie card, and uh, World War II veteran and passed away a couple years ago, Billy Pierce. And then I used to have this card I thought was like one of the coolest cards I had as well. Tony Oliva, again, Sunny on Tops. So I had this one, Willie Stargell. And a rookie card of Bobby Gritch, who was really good. Very good fielder as well. So I had to get that one. And I've never had these cards, but they just look really cool. Uh, Carlton Fisk from 76. And 1977. Really cool action shot there. Then I saw this card and thought it was also really cool. Ken Griffey Sr., 75 tops. And picked up a few Hank Aarons. Um, this one's a more modern card from Ted Williams set. It's kind of got something funky going there with the pattern. But I just thought that was a really nice looking card. And uh, the only Hank Aaron card I've ever owned. I used to have 1976 tops, and now I got it again. And I also bought this one along with it, the Record Breaker card. Most lifetime runs batted in. So that was the last card he had. And a few more Carly Strumpskis. Sorry, they're out of order. But that's all right. 1970 tops. Sporting News, 1970. And uh, this is one of the cards that came with the Mickey Mantle, the fake Mickey Mantle, 72. Also bought the in action. It looks like there's actually one more football in here. Um, Joe Morgan from '74, and finally a 1969 tops rookie card of Dick Anderson, which I just thought was a really cool card. I used to own. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, look forward to doing another episode. Talk to you later, guys. Enjoy your Sunday. Bye.